Hello everyone, I'm here to show you how to attach elements to a wall or a ground on DaVinci Resolve. Alright, right click on your clip on the timeline and create a new Fusion clip because we will need to use the Fusion interface to create this effect. On the Fusion tab, press Shift and Space to open the Tools panel. Type Planet Track and edit to your node's timeline. Delete this line by just clicking on it and connecting media in to track and connecting the track to media out. With these two, it becomes possible to create tracks because the icons, images, or videos that we're going to pop out needs to follow some object to give a more realistic impression. There are a few options to create this sort of track. I'm going to use the perspective type, but you can test and figure out the best motion type for your case. All of them work well though. Now, search for the part of the video in which you want to insert your image and create your reference tracker. It could be whatever format. Choose the best for your case. You can even draw the object that you intend it to insert. To track frame by frame automatically, first set the start keyframe, select this option and click on this button here. It takes some time to finish this process. By the way, you can let the process finish by itself or you can stop it whenever you like it. With the process done, Select the planet tracker and go to the beginning of your tracking. Go to the media pool panel and drag your image to the node's timeline. Now we have the DaVinci Resolve logo here, but first select the planet tracker again, change the operation mode to corner pin and adjust proportionally the tracker point again. It might be proportional. Once you have done it, connect the image to the planet tracker. As you can see, the DaVinci logo is here and already tracked it. However, it is in the entire video and I don't want that actually. So let's solve this problem. Click on Media N2, which is the image, shift and space to add another tool. Type Transform. At the beginning of the tracking process, create a keyframe and put the size on zero. Move the video forward a little bit and increase the size as much as you want. It creates a new keyframe automatically. And look, now this image appears exactly in the frame I choose. Do the same thing to the end. Create a new keyframe, move forward and minimize the size to make the image disappear. The last thing to do is give more realism. Select the image again and press shift and space. Type drop shadow and edit. Here we have a bunch of options to improve the qualities of the shadow. Creating some perspective from the position of the light, the walls and even the small objects too. You can do this with a GIF, image or a video. And if you want to attach more than one image, it's pretty simple. Just add another media and plenty track and basically do the same process again. Now you know how to do this effect and I'm glad I helped you. Thanks for watching.